So here we are in Merlin project. As I said in the last video, we're not going to talk too much about entry introduction. We'll jump right into our software. As you can see, Merlin project is layered in a few different elements. We firstly got the toolbar on the top here. Then we've got the inspector in the right here. You can show or hide it with this button. Then we've got the view configurations and some further elements in the function bar. And we've got lastly our workspace over here. All those elements are truly important. You can see in the toolbar, you can, for example, add a few new activities. We'll go more into activity building in a few seconds. You can indent or outdent them to build groups. You can do so much more like linking, for example, different activities, but I'll jump into those aspects in a few minutes in another video. You can also, and this is important for this video, activate the dynamic help. This feature allows you to learn all the different facets that we have in Merlin project by simply hovering over any element that you're not really aware of. Okay, what does this do? How can it help you? So for example, if I don't know what the expector is, I can go over here and it gives me an, a short description text. Similarly, these are the project settings. Here you can get a few more information about the project. You can set, for example, date presets and a lot more, but also here, I think it's best if you discover them for yourself. So let me quickly deactivate the dynamic help for now. One important thing that we're going to talk about today is also the different view types and project views. So as you can see right now, we're in some sort of gun chart. That's also called to categorize it a bit more a work breakdown. So here's the work breakdown view type and each view type has a lot of project views that basically allow you to organize information in the work breakdown structure in a different manner. There's also net plans where you can simply set, for example, a mind map. So you can see our four activities that we've set up in the gunshot are now displayed as a mind map. If I enter a new activity, differentiate a bit, call it test, and go back into the work breakdown structure, you can easily see that the test activity is now also showing in the work breakdown structure. So that's also a truly powerful feature in Merlin project that it is dynamic. So all information can be displayed in all the different view types. So let's quickly go through the others. We've got resource views where you can set and change the different resources that you want to have in your project. We have assignments, which then shows you, for example, how much yeah, capacity each resource has. This is the work distribution, for example. We got plenty of reports where you can yeah, enter some project elements into a report and then share it, for example, export it via email or PDF or whatsoever with your other stakeholders. And then we also have an attachment view. Right now, obviously, the project is still empty, so there's no attachments, but we've got plenty of attachments that we're also going to look into in a few seconds. One more element that needs to be discussed is the inspector on the right-hand side. This is one of the core concepts in Merlin project, that all information can be entered in through the inspector. So if you, for example, see you have a new activity here, I can change the title here as well. Um, start of the project, then I can change the work. So if I say I want to give it a two day work, I can change the duration. We'll talk about the difference in another video. I can set it as a milestone if I want. I can change a lot of features and also go for dependencies. I can add finance elements. I can add actual values for the project execution later. I can see user-defined information like tags and fields that I can enter. And also I can add comments or notes to an activity. So the inspector helps you to 
enter and see all the different context elements for basically whatever you selected. Also, we've got different options to filter, to group, to style, or to set further options to our project. So that's pretty much all there is to, to Merlin project right now. We'll go into the functions in the next few videos, but maybe this could be some sort of homework, if you want to call it like this, that you fam familiarize yourself with our software for now and see if there's any, any questions you have. If you do have questions, feel free to you know, simply contact us at the bottom of the learning path on our website, projectwizards.net slash learn. You can see there's a button for email and a button for LinkedIn. So do feel free to contact us on one of those platforms and we're happy to help you with your questions. So until then, see you in the next video.